we are the social party for the People's Democratic Republic of Canterbury. Even though we have tax, it doesn't really matter because we're not socialists. The Social Party for the People's Democratic Republic of Canterbury will reduce dastardly foreign influence on our education system. We will be privatising every school to certain curriculums. This will mean all schools will have its own curriculum, so this would render the Ministry of Canterbury useless and obsolete. The Party for the People's Democratic Republic of Canterbury will privatise all schools to allow the free market to naturally make them better, so schools will be undercutting each other to make them more attractive to other people and they'll have their own specialised curriculum so students will be able to go to schools that are for their needs. The National History Day and we will force students to learn about the New Zealand government and the New Zealand history with a class that has to be taken at least three times a week. Environment! Environment is a huge problem for the world and each country is looking at each other for who will be the best. The Social Party for the People's Democratic Republic of Canterbury would like to present a very important news. Breaking news! Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. Ah! Not that long ago, it was raining heavily, and as obviously it caused a global warming, it caused the clouds to melt. All swimming pools used to be ice too. To stop this, the Social Party for the People's Democratic Republic of Canterbury will enforce the planting of two trees a year. So we as a community will be able to slow this global warming to the bottom. Breaking news! Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. The use of computers over paper by rationing paper for each person to one piece of A4 paper per day. And also claim large amounts of undeveloped land as government preserves to only be used by the government in times of national crisis. We have various tax policies that will enhance the nation's well-being and order. Standard households and incomes will only be taxed 10%. You earn it, you keep it, or most of it. Standard household incomes will only be taxed 2%. You earn it, you keep it, or most of it. This will incentivize citizens to work harder and therefore enrich the economy and the nation.
in order to both discourage crime and improve the sanctity of our legislation and government, the Social Party of the People's Democratic Republic of Canada will disallow those with criminal convictions to vote. This will act to have the interests of the loyal patriotic majority and stop traitors and criminals from destroying our glorious country. Criminal! We will increase our scientific research spending to New Zealand, the leading country in science. With new scientific discoveries, we will increase our military skills to have a higher foreign influence, and the money that would usually go to the of education will go to benefiting our science. We will also set up a plan to increase the accuracy of our scientific research by using major criminals, mainly murderers, and using them in scientific experiments, because using that isn't scientifically accurate enough. And just to make this clear, we will not torture them. Okay, maybe sleep. And finally, to majorly increase our foreign influence and put New Zealand on the map, we will literally build nuclear weapons. So take New Zealand seriously as no country would want to ignore a country with nukes as it is better to not have to be nuked. So other countries will give us more support and will allow New Zealand to thrive. And one last thing, to ensure you vote for our great party, we will give everyone who votes for us fruit burst or lollipops. Thanks for listening to the Social Party for the People's Democratic Republic of Canterbury election submission. Our party members being assaulted by Shit! <laughs>